Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Z and Z. We are playing Monster Pra. My name is Zach Gray, also known as the Booze Wolf, and joining me in the escapade and currently fondling the joysticks of the controller is Zumaga Shiny, and I'm still sad I lost out to a pickle. I'm sorry, you're, you're not a pickle, so you weren't worth me listening. Can you do that again? Can you be a pickle this time? That could be more fun. <laughs> Sorry, doing pickle stuff. Can't hear you. <laughs> All right, so where the fuck? Yeah. All right, so we've hit up the library. Mm -hmm. You've hit up the fuck tree. Mm -hmm. We've not we've been to the gym, the gym and we've not been. Yo, to you, the... you, you went to the bathroom. I, I, I made magic happen in that bathroom. We haven't been to the auditorium. I feel like my guy would be an auditorium kind of guy. Go for it. Well, you were right. Swing! That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. So I came out there with an erection? No, you just came. Ugh. <sighs> Your performance is intense, inspiring, arousing, ejaculating. It will be remembered for generations! <laughs> as a literal and complete fucking felony. Which is pretty rad by high school play standards. <laughs> you gain plus two creativity. I can creatively figure out how I'm not how I'm inferior to a pickle. I have no boldness. I have no money. <laughs> you find Scott sadly holding an open bottle of power sludge. <laughs> the food like elixir that gets you ripped. Oh, Scott the werewolf. That's Mr. Pickle Bitch. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Protein! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Bruh, this protein shake in a bottle is gross. I'm sorry, tree man. I have fallen in love with something else. That is a pecker. <laughs> that, that, that middle, well, that, please don't have that face with your little bird pecker <laughs> stick out. That is his dick in a sock with some, like, <laughs> trimming on it. Oh, hi guys! I'm Mr. Wigglebird! <laughs> Well, I mean, go, 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 go. it's gonna feed you, bro. Take a sip, I gotta go. <laughs> I don't even know what most of these ingredients are. Flabograin? Abercrumbide? Abercrum Kale? Plus it tastes like butt! Not a stranger's butt, which is exciting to smell, but gross nasty butt from the butt swamp. Where the butt nest monster lives. Ha! <laughs> butt. I can't just toss it though, I already opened it. And Coach is always saying I gotta fish where I start when he has me on my knees in the back of the anyway. That would explain the pickle fetish. Bruh, let me find something to mix into this power drink that'll make me buff and taste good. By the way, I'll trade you in for a pickle. <laughs> Maybe I can put the pickle in the drink. Make the drink taste good, I mean. I, I, don't, I, I don't need to taste good. I think I taste fine. Yeah, winky face. Try this vial of genie sweat. I stole it from a genie. Good thing I brought these great flavored steroids. I'd probably... uh, on the one hand, I want to win them back with a pickle because it makes me feel better about myself. On the other hand, the genie sweat is actually genie jizz. So. <laughs> I want to give them steroids because... He's just a dumb motherfucker anyways. I guarantee you choose that option and all of a sudden the little middle bird is gonna disappear. <laughs> Steroid shrink. Dude! Yes! Glad to know I'm fun. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know that my one problem with steroids was that they didn't taste like great? Wow. What the fuck's the matter with you? <laughs> Why are you made of duct tape? I've lost, I've lost so much like for Scott. Now I can get my buff on and get my recommended daily value of fruits at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> now that's healthy. You think it's probably not healthy, but you're not a doctor. The doctor you stole the steroids from was a doctor. Plus two charm and plus one fun. That's great. You tell Scott to go to hell. Let's do this. Let's not. All right. Well, uh, process of elimination. Let's go to the gym. To the gym. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. You decide to light it on fire and literally murder everybody. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit. If you lose this game for me, I'll kill you all. They still lose, and you do kill them all. But it was a pretty bitchin' speech. 
leading to a spectacular comeback. You clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. You're just getting ready to leave when you get a text from Barley. Hey baby, let's party. That's Les party, isn't a lesbian party. Which I'd be so up for, except I'm a dude. How can, la, you, la, 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 la. How can you refuse such a formal missive? You have nine smarts, so you might actually know what missive means. You track her down immediately. Hey, you got my text. That's good, because I need some help brainstorming. I, I'm a bit of an airhead. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna let that pass, you ass. <laughs> I'm going to a party tonight, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be lame. And that needs to change. See, it's a costume party, you know, where everyone dresses up as their favorite hummus. I prefer the fucking cilantro jalapeno. That's of humans. <laughs> oh. oh! I thought you were joking! Yes! <laughs> yes, I was! <laughs> I can't get anything past you! <laughs> I'm going It's a sexy tax attorney! That did actually say sexy tax attorney, by the way, <laughs> just in case you were uncertain. Sexy tax attorney? Ow. <laughs> but I'm not sure even the sexiest tax attorney... That's not how you spell attorney. No, it's not. Attorney! Uh-huh. Can rescue this party from the depths of lame attitude. Yes, because tax, tax attorneys are just such a barrel of laughs. So! Got any ideas to help spice things up, fire crotch? Spice it up for me. I'll spice your shit right up. Jalapeno, this bitch. Oh, you've got some ideas, and they're the spicy. Spike the punch with mandrake root. It turns monsters into actual humans. Actually, that says hummus. <laughs> it says humans, but I almost fell for that. Okay, you go as a sexy tax attorney. I'll go as a sexy tax evader. Hmm. I feel this comes on too strong. This is like, yes, we're definitely dating, and that'd be fine. This is, hey, you like fucking with shit. Fuck with shit! <laughs> she didn't really stick around as I can't because later that night at the party. <laughs> this is nuts! Look at all! These humans in human costumes! Georgina the party owl bear totally just turned into a sumo wrestler. That's kind of amazing, actually. Ah and Larry ah the Lick looks exactly like former United States President Abraham Lincoln. Oh man, I hope he goes see a theater show. <laughs> He'll have a blast. You, God damn it. <laughs> you just say to yourself, like, wow, you almost said the, that sentence correctly, and then you ended it with that. It's like, fuck! Oh, Larry doesn't just look like Lincoln. He is Lincoln. He has all of Lincoln's memories up to the moment of his death. <laughs> That's a funny seat! Presidential. Every newly transformed human of the body comes complete with a full lifetime of memories. A childhood, family, friends. Herpes. All the things they don't have in real life except herpes. They have no recollection of their lives as a monster and are currently going insane from the cognitive dissonance of fantastic Matthew Evil album that's playing over the speakers. The artist got lazy with the monsters again. I like your cat dealer is there. Not anymore. Nope. <laughs> Manny the Manicore just turned into a retired cop who is screaming for his estranged wife and two sons. Ah! Pranked! In about four hours, what is wrong with that? In about four hours, all of these created, these newly created people will revert to the previous forms, essentially murdering these new identities. Old identities. And in the meantime, you and Polly have a great time scaring the shit out of the actual humans and streaming it online. You gain plus two creativity and one. Fun. Mmm, fun. Let's trade places. Everybody chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud. To the rest of the players before clicking raccoon. Wolf. Man, we're screwed. 
Player orders decided based on how strongly you would avoid eating the selected animal. Start debating now. We either of us would eat either of those animals <laughs> any day of the yeah. fucking week. Are you shitting me? Alright, I how strongly you would avoid. I guess you would more strongly avoid assuming that both animals were alive <laughs> when we find them, I feel like both of us would be more likely to avoid eating a live wolf yeah. than a live raccoon. Avoid eating. Okay, yeah, so you. Me! And we're halfway through. Whoa! I don't know, sorry. Get out. See ya, bitch! Well, since I lost out on the sexy, sexy studly werewolf, and I'm all by myself now, so I guess I'll be playing Firecrash. You know, if we were recording, like, the actual video footage, uh -huh. I'd just be, like, literally, I'd just say, like, take me out. <laughs> pickle. <laughs> That's all my face is, just pickle. Oh my god, now you need a picture of TF Shiny being enchanted sworn into a pickle. Um, You're mad because I'm right. I want to get with God, but he doesn't like me anymore because he's well, all Well, you up. know, you want to do that, right? Because then I can't sit with Ghost Bitch. Whenever I fucked you over once, I don't care. I'm already in such a lead with Ghost Bitch because he didn't replace me for a pickle. I had everything. <laughs> you find Polly and Scott huddled at your chosen table. If these two are together, it can only mean one thing. Fuck it! I hereby call this meeting of the Prank Masters to order! My idea was the Z, because I want it spelled correctly. Prank Master Hal, present and accounted for. Don't worry, he'll forget everything in a minute. Chairman Geist, all dressed up and ready to prank. Vice Prankster Pickle, also here. I hate you. <laughs> hey, how come you get to be the chairman? You have a bigger dick. Steroids. Yeah, can't argue with that. Well, which one of us can throw chairs around the room with our ghost powers? Well, I don't have ghost powers, so... Oh, you, I get it, share. Man, but... No, don't think too hard, sweetie. Oh, he, he stopped. That, 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 that little dot's actually just, like, <laughs> static. No time to argue, Scott. We've got to come up with a baller food prank before the end of lunch. Oh, yeah, okay, so, like, what if we... <laughs> what if we ate all our food? Like, good boy. Is that a prank? Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, great oh. idea! Oh. Who is up? Sorry. No, Scott. For the last time, that's not a prank, and I don't eat. So no one would ever expect it. <laughs> yeah, I'm so fucking smart. What do you think, Harvey the Pickle? Why do I keep buying food for lunch? <laughs> I never eat it. Yeah, you're some sort of shadow monster too, aren't you? But I'm having trouble coming up with another idea. Besides eat, which you don't do. Anybody else? I'm so ghost hungry. Oh! <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> God, why is she still frozen that face? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, Harvey the Pickle, you know how to treat me right. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting all your life for an opportunity like this. You propose the ultimate food prank. Eat everybody else's food like a good boy. Replace all the food with chairs. Now there's a problem, because what is the answer you need to get to beat that fucking pickle? The other's the answer you would actually tell someone who is capable of doing it. Yeah! But it's your character, not you, so what would they do? I wanna get my fuck on! <laughs> Eat everybody else's food like a good boy. <gasps> I got the hurt! Eat other people's food? You can like do that? That's oh! right! <laughs> That's right, pickle butt! Where'd my pickle go? Well, I can't. <gasps> but oh, I can. Uh! Uh! Even if it's on somebody else's plate. Uh! Even if it's in somebody else's tummy. Uh! <laughs> exactly half of that is right. I think all of that is right. Which half? Oh, no time to figure it out. We got to prank now while the pranking's good. Yeah, that was good. Wait, what about me? Food falls right through me! But you and Scott are already blazing a trail through the cafeteria, gobbling everything in sight. Polly, guys, can 
go fuck herself. While Scott's unlucky, you devour his butt pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Scott accidentally eats a few people along with their food, but he politely burps them out when they complain. Boo! By the time school security kicks you two out, you're both totally stuffed with food and affection for each other. Stop. We're gonna need that pickle for later. <laughs> yeah, get in a couple hours. All right, fire crutch. All right, and this will probably be it because it's this episode's running. Mm -hmm. Well, who's this bitch? We saw her earlier, didn't we? I don't remember her. Cause that was the um fish bitch. Yeah, this is all. That of was them, Damien. There, that's if you want to buy something, but you only got five bucks. So yeah, fuck it. New people. All right, uh, I guess you're doing this voice. Who is trying to enjoy a meal in peace when space untwists itself to reveal interdimensional prince? Oh, God. Ha, huh. most glorious hero. Thank the squid star I found you. I have been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. Please. A riddle that has vexed me for days, nay, weeks. The riddle of... How to change the ringtone on my smartphone. This interface is more torturous than my palace labyrinth. For real? You grab the prince's phone, change his ringtones to... Mulatto butts! All, of those, all about those butts. By the booty brothers. <gasps> booty butt, booty butt, thanks! <gasps> my hero. Ring! What seems difficult to me is trivial to you. And you even guessed which ringtone I desired. A true, all-time classic from the sixth dimension. There is only one way I can repay you, by bestowing upon you a superpower of your choice. If it's a pickle, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Say, pickle summon. I can do that. I am the prince of another dimension. I can do all kinds of crazy things you don't know about. I just chur I just make your fucking werewolf boyfriend vanish, and you start from square one. All kinds of crazy things besides use his phone, apparently. He really only gives you two superpower options. <laughs> <laughs> I. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you did change his ringtones to butts, butts, butts. I don't even have to think about this. I'm just amazed that the game knows me so well. <laughs> ah, yes. The choice of a true gentle monster. A choice of a true something monster. Swingity swooty, motherfucker. Oh my god, read it. Sorry, I have to read it. With a wave of his magic wang, the prince imbues your ass with the boundless work ethic. <laughs> I can twerk it and berserk it better than your boyfriend. <laughs> By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teachers. By night, it does your homework for you. That's a hell of an ass. Two plus two is four. With all level. that, whoa, I just charmed like a motherfucker. All that work makes your buns super tight. You gain plus four charm. I'm charming as fuck. Let's trade places. All right. Player uh, orders. Well, I think that's it for this episode. I don't know if this auto saves. We might need to do one more. Uh, well, we didn't do that challenge, so who's likely to hiding corpse in the basement? We don't have a basement. We're from Florida. So neither of us. Well, I went first this time, so you go first on the next one. We'll go to the next screen, and then we'll call it there. That sounds good. All right, most likely we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good night! Good night. That was a safe screen.